Good morning everyone and welcome back to Interactive Studios. My name is Unreal S Talk and today we are showcasing Sea of Thieves, the anniversary update on the Xbox One X in HDR 4K. Now Sea of Thieves is an awesome action adventure game where you can be whatever pirate you want to be. If you want to go and raid other pirates, you can. If you want to go sail the seas, loot treasures, uh, go and kill skeletons, you are more than welcome to. So it's an awesome game and I guarantee you will enjoy it. It is available at your local retailer so you can check it out. If you are watching from Facebook or from a retailer's website, you guys are more than welcome to ask questions about the game in the chat box. And if you are watching from Mixer, you guys, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask as well. And make sure you do check out our description as we do have our favorite retailer links in there for you guys. Hey, JLo and Furry Fighter, how, are, how is everyone? I am very good. Thank you for asking, Furry. So we're going to dive in to some Sea of Thieves fun. It's been a while since I've played Sea of Thieves. I remember we completed um, the uh, Shroud Breaker Tall Tale, because um, the new update, the anniversary update, brought loads of more, uh, more content into the game, including stories that you can play, um, lots of different, just different things. Thank you, Fairy, thank you. Yeah, and the um, Hunter's Call. That's uh, really cool as well. So we're going to see it all as soon as we jump in. I'm super excited. Last time I was playing, I'm pretty sure I my ship was destroyed by the Meg a few times. We encountered the Kraken. So Sea of Thieves is always full of crazy stories. Like, this is crazy. That's good to hear, Fairy. I'm glad. So we're going to skip this. Okay, so we've got adventure so we can set sail on a shared pirate adventure where you, whoops, sorry. <laughs> where you can play with yourself or you can play with other players, um, whether they're friends or strangers. It's all up to you. Then you have the arena, which is PV, uh, PvP. Where is it there? So you can um, get to the heart of action, compete for glory in the Sea Dogs arena. I haven't played in the arena before. Maybe we will a little later on. But yeah, lots of fun there. I've seen awesome stuff from um, both Ryan and DJ uh, playing in the arena. But we're going to go adventure. Uh, you can see the three different ships. We go the sloop because the sloop is... It's made for like one person or you can have two people on it. So it's a small, nimble ship. It is more fragile and you will see that today. It's definitely a lot more fragile um, compared to the Galleon, for example, where you can have a full crew on that. The Brigantine is more for three people, but uh, we're playing alone. So we're going to go sloop and we're going to go closed crew. And we're going to set sail. There we go. There's my player. So when you do start your Sea of Thieves experience, when you begin your journey, you do have to choose a character. Like you choose a um, an avatar type thing. And you once you choose it, that's it. You're stuck with them. You can add things like customization options. So you've got like different clothing that you can purchase. And you need to have coins for that. And to get coins, you need to go treasure hunting or just complete missions and, and that. So go looting. Or you can like take other pirates' treasures. <laughs> See, that's what's so cool about the game is you can do whatever you want. If you want to be a friendly pirate like myself, you can be a friendly pirate. Or if you like to go and sneak up on other pirate ships, loot them, you can do that. Or you can just, you know, just sail the seas, go treasure hunting. Really furry. That's interesting. You can do that if you don't like your pirate. You can definitely start again if you want. But yeah, you, um, you're just playing to work towards, I guess, gathering as many items for your ship as well or for your, for your pirate. So you're just working towards that pirate glory. Hey, Buffet Robin, how are you going today? So don't forget, guys, if you have any questions about Sea of Thieves, you can definitely ask away. Because we're here to interact with you guys and just have fun. Just have fun, which we're going to do today. So the Hunter's Core Trading Company, that's super cool. You can um, you can fish. 
you can go hunting and you can actually kill the animals that you couldn't kill before because back then we had to capture them using a cage specific for that animal whereas now you can actually kill them and you can ki um, cook the meat as well which is cool but don't eat it raw you will get sick we i do that so many times by accident So with the hunter's call, yes, that would be true. If you do delete, obviously you would lose um, your progression. There's the mysterious stranger. Didn't I? I already completed the... One moment. You do well to heed my warning, for this is no ordinary voyage you're contemplating. Few pirates have even heard of the shores okay. of gold. I've let heard alone the stranger see them with their own eyes. Say that story so many times. What are my levels? So if we go you go reputation. Where is it? Whoops, I went past it. So I'm not <laughs> I haven't really progressed that much, but we're still we're still going. So I'm pretty sure you need to reach level 50 for three of these. Um, so you can see I'm still I didn't I complete my tall tale? Anyway, so we've got the hunter's core. Um, we haven't really done a lot of that. We have actually we haven't achieved any of the commendations, no items, titles or promotions. We haven't done any of that. We've got sea dogs. We've got the gold bucko. So the gold hoarders. Um, we're doing pretty good with the gold hoarders. We still have a long way to go. Merchant Alliance. We don't really do a lot of voyages for Merchant Alliance. But um, it's still pretty cool. Uh, my two favorite. My two favorite is definitely the gold hoarders and the order of souls. I actually love doing order of souls like voyages i love going and, and killing skeletons it's the funniest thing especially when they start to regenerate their health by eating a banana it's just i find it so entertaining so i got the tall tails where is my sloop there it is i love starting a new game because it's got no holes in it it's a brand new sloop so excited. I wonder how long it would take us to get our first hole in the ship. Just by knocking something, hitting into a rock, or even uh, being too close to like the sea bed, like where the sand is, you you're gonna you're gonna destroy your ship. See if we can last long. King Boom, thank you so much for following. So I've got the shroud breaker here. I was so certain I completed this. I did. So, it took us a while to do this one because there was a time when my ship sank and so did the totem that you had to collect. That, <laughs> that went. Uh, so I had to restart it again because that was all thanks to the Meg. Uh, portal grain, I don't. The only thing that I have is a blue sail. Uh, I don't play frequently, so I don't really have a lot of gold. And any, every time I do get gold, I get excited and I go purchase something for my pirate. I should really save my gold. That way I can start purchasing some ship cosmetics. So if we go here, I think I just have a blue sail. Because I love blue. <laughs> yes furry fighter when the skeletons they laugh like they do that little evil laugh and they kind of like retreat so they can regenerate their health or sometimes they actually get scared of you they run away and then they charge back at you which is an, um, which is super funny as well so let's have a look oops wrong one so if we go voyages I've got two order of the soul voyages I'm gonna go get another one little uh, quick little swim there 
they do as well. They're just entertaining. And I recently learned that the skeletons were actually added in the second update for Sea of Thieves. They, they actually weren't there at launch, so they came in the second update. What, do I have anything in my inventory? No. So we might just see what we've got in some bar barrels. Not that barrel. I'm going to take everything. Definitely going to need wood. Knowing me. Oh, take the mango. I'm going to get rid of the bananas. Order of Souls welcomes you. See, like, I tend to spend money on, on things. I really want to buy that. I think that's so cool, that tank. We, we actually purchased... Didn't I purchase that? I'm pretty sure I did. Um, just gonna... Yeah, the Silent King. Ooh, sounds interesting. Until we meet again. Yes, until we do meet again. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's go. Ooh. It's a bit stormy today. Let's propose a voyage. I really want to do this with the Silent King. So if you were on a sh uh, ship with a crew, everyone would get the opportunity to vote for the voyage. But uh, we're all alone, so we've got no takers. It's just us. It's just us. So where are we going? We are Crook's Hollow. We're very drawn to Crook's Hollow. We're always going there. So it shouldn't be too far. Ooh, I see. I just saw that. There it is. Okay, I really hope it's not in the storm. <laughs> Sailing in the storm is definitely a challenge. It is because your compass goes crazy and you, you tend to just go in circles. And you've also got to try to avoid uh, lightning because it can put a hole in your ship or it can strike you and uh, you lose a bit of health. So we, we have to go northeast. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, so it has been a while since I've sailed. Um, I'm excited. So we're gonna raise the anchor. We we need to get out of the storm. We just want clear skies. There's clear skies behind us. Which is kind of where we need to go. Fishing is awesome. I love fishing in this game. It's very relaxing. Relaxing. I think we should be alright because we've kind of we've got to go where it's all sunny over there, so we don't have to stay in this storm. Yeah, we are avoiding that. It's too dark and gloomy.
this wind. Do I need to get out of this storm? If you, if you learn how to sail in the storm, then you're good. Like, you'll be prepared for any situation. See? The compass is going crazy already. Got to get out of here. We're heading for daylight. I haven't encountered the Meg or the Kraken in a storm. I feel like that would be so scary. Every time we have encountered the Meg, I have been quite scared because I am very terrified of sharks. But the last couple times we, we've tried to defeat it. There was a time when it destroyed my ship. So I got a few hits in with the cannon in. However, it managed to get to get my ship. And so it started to sink and I couldn't save it. So I'm trying to swim to the mermaid. And I can see the Meg swimming under me. And then it comes up and actually kills me. That was a very traumatic experience. Um, we have had chances to, to kill it after that. Although it, it didn't attack me. I did get like one or two shots in with the cannon. But it didn't attack. So what I would do. I just try to get to the, ne the nearest island. And it would despawn. Or it would just linger around. Paradise Spring. That's such a small island. Pretty sure that's Crook's Hollow up ahead. Yeah. I'm super ready to kill some skeletons. But we're yeah, with. Oh, I can see. Ship. With uh, the Kraken. With the Kraken. We've had a run in with it maybe twice in all of my Sea of Thieves adventures. I think twice. The second time we were we were doing pretty good. We had like hit it a few times. We just kept slashing at it. We just kept slashing at it with my sword. I don't know if that was um, going to do much damage. But we survived for a while and then we ended up dying. But what's great is that if you do die, you just respawn back in um, wherever your ship was. Or if you did die and your ship sunk, uh, I think it just it takes you back to the nearest island. But obviously if your ship sinks, you lose all your, your items on it. So any treasure chests that you had, they're gone. So don't become too attached. Especially when you're sailing these seas. I mean, anything could happen. Like, anything. And that's what's great because you never... Oh, no. Already? No. No. Oh, these... How could I forget? I completely forgot about these skeletons. They just attack you. Oh, no. Okay. Luckily that missed. We're just going to dock the ship. Pretty sure I'm about to crash into something. Yeah. We're going to go kill those skeletons. just started I just started I completely forgot Crook's Hollow and there's another island um, that the skeletons just start attacking me. do I have another hole yeah that was a close call that was very close <laughs> yes, he would. Right, we're going to put some food away. We'll keep the two coconuts on us. And we'll put the wood away so we can collect more. Ooh, 
crazy. It's getting eerie. Oh, they've got they've got guns. I missed it. Attack it. Okay, one down. I'm gonna save my ammo. Some islands will have the ammo chest. See, it's going to eat. Alright, we got that one. No, I just... Why am I going to die already? What if I run? That was a very bad start. Oh, look at the nice sky. Oh, I missed again. One more. Missed all of them. I should turn some of my lights, the lanterns off. I mean, having the lanterns off will uh, help you not be so noticeable. That storm followed us here. All right, we're back. Round two. Oh, they've sensed me. Got him. Got him. Now, I know there was barrels here somewhere. We got some wood. Let's fight. He's trying to run away. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Come on. You get different, especially when you're doing a um, Order of Souls campaign. You're going to have waves of skeletons to get to the actual boss or the captain that you need to get the skull for. And not all the waves are the same, so for different, for different missions you, you'll definitely encounter different skeletons. It keeps it interesting that way. That one's running away. <laughs> Fight me like a man. It's still running. But they, they, they come back. Here you go. He's on his way back. Very dark. Right, here we go. It's good when they don't have weapons. One more. 
Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Next wave. We've all got swords. There's so many. Oh no, we got attacked by the snake. One skeleton's running away. Okay. No banana for you. No. That, those, that evil laugh. They've made the skeletons really entertaining. Oh, you missed. I'm gonna kill this snake. Oh, we would know. Okay, we'll draw these ones away. Got one. Go, 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 hit it! Okay, one more. No bananas! Okay. Where's the snake meat? <coughs> so with the hunter's core, you can actually kill animals and collect the meat. And you can cook it. The captain always has a gun. I'm gonna draw these ones away. I'm gonna have to eat. Go. If the skeletons are allowed to retreat and eat, so are we. Okay, we don't want to eat this. We can we can cook it. So we just eat lunch time. So we needed a break to cook our lunch, which is steak meat. If you have full health and you do eat meat, what you can do is um it'll refill the the little circle um outside of the skull in the bottom left corner and that's like it'll regenerate your health if you're ever low you just gotta let that cook very tasty very tasty i like when you uh kill a chicken it's a little drumstick and then you get like the pork chop from a pig pretty cool it's pretty cool and then you obviously the fish when you cook it when you catch it first and you can cook it you don't want to burn it you can get achievements by burning meat or like cooking under the stars lots of different achievements okay that looks pretty good so you can see that's filling up so that'll help um refill our health bar when it gets low we should probably get some more ammo all right, we are good to go all right guys lunch is over so we're ready to keep going with our fight 
lunch time is over. Maybe we can sneak up on them. Oh no! Captain knows we're there. Oh no, they haven't turned around yet. Now they know we're here. Ooh. Is that all you've got? We need to get rid of that one. Got it. Yes! One captain down. Oh, there's another one with the gun. It got us. We've got to eat. Not today. Oh, I don't have any more hammer. <laughs> so I, nothing a sword won't fix. No bananas for you. Stop. I got him cornered. All right, so we got it. So we're going to put these, we're going to hide it for now. While we check out the rest of the island. So DJ and Ryan are off. It's uh, me taking over today. Right, we've got them there. So they actually make a lot of noise. Yeah, I know. Uh, what are we doing? So we've got Snake Island that we need to go to. And what's the other one? Bait Cove. Shark Bait Cove. Right, before we go there, let's see if we can get anything here. This is where we unlocked the cave here. Yeah, so we completed this. We did the cave, we did all that, where you get trapped inside and you've got to um, figure out the pattern of the revolving pillars. Uh, that was so intense. We, I thought I was going to drown because it starts filling up with water. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to have to redo all of this again because I'm about to die. But we managed to actually change one of the patterns. And just on the brink of drowning, we managed to complete it. It was so awesome. It really was. So we did that. And then now we actually have to go back to the Uncharted Island and uh, do that. I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do. Because we did it all. Anyway. So we want to go and hunt these skeletons. But before I go, I just wanted to see if there's anything in any barrels that we can take. Like some food. Creepy. <laughs> oh, I don't mind taking some more snake meat. Some fish bait. I hear some chickens. Oh, we got a message in the bottle. that snake
Another thing that I found recently in the game was sharks. So you've got your big mags and you've actually got sharks. So if you spend too much time in the water, they can actually come to you. We've had to kill a few of them before. This game is just full of surprises. So booty aisle. So we've got all oh, my skeletons. How could I forget the skulls? We gotta go and get them. Completely forgot. Almost left my treasure behind. If the island didn't have skeletons attacking you with a cannon, I would leave them kind of like hidden somewhere and come back. Only because we've got a few islands to go to and try to collect more of these skulls. But we'll take the risk. We'll take the risk. Feeling lucky today, so hopefully we can go and collect our rewards. I'm going to put these... Can I put them here? Yeah, so they're kind of hidden. When I first collected one of those, I put it on my ship and I started hearing this whispering noise and it was quite freaky. I'm like, what is that sound? I'm like, is there something on my ship? Is someone haunting me? And then I realized that it's a skull. So they do let out this like really intimidating, like creepy sound. Um, but that's just them. Keeps you, keeps you a bit of company. A bit of company on your ship. With this hissing sound. Oh, that one was in a good place. Just leave them. All right. So where? Which island? Oops, wrong thing. So we need to go to Shark Bait Cove, and then it was, was that Snake Island. Which one is closer? So we got Snake Island here, and then Shark Bait Cove. I have a feeling is going to be below it. No, possibly up. Here we go. So when it's not like in a straight line, we've got to go here, then we've got to go there, and then we could go back to Plunder's Outpost, or on the way to Shark Bait Cove, go to Plunder's Outport, Outpost. But there was another place we can go to for the bottle. Booty Isle. How far is that? <laughs> you hear the sound? So we could do that after. So we're going to go to Snake Isle. Which isn't that far, so it's just west. Okay, we're just gonna go west now. We've got no holes. No, we are good. We can hear them. <laughs> Hear the skeleton the skulls. Okay, I really hope we don't get shot at. Wish us luck. We're good. We're good. Next thing we hear, a cannonball heading over. So we don't want to hold too much loot on our ship. I feel like having so much just attracts the meg. Or the kraken. So I want to avoid that. Uh, so we'll go to Snake Island and then probably go to Plunder's Outpost, then go to Booty Isle and Shark Bay Cove.
But if I really wanted to avoid the mage, just say it spawned and it wanted to attack me, I would just try and go to the nearest island and just sit there until it despawns. Although I have found that it lingers around and when you leave the island, it comes back. But that's just my experience. I don't know about everyone else's. I feel like we're almost there. There it is. Very, very rough seas today. I find it really beautiful sailing the seas in Sea of Thieves. It's very uh, realistic. And you get to really experience what it's like to be a pirate. Yay! I see something shiny already. Uh oh. Uh oh. What have I done? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Is the anchor down? The anchor is down, and I'm gonna need to patch up holes now. No? No holes! Wow. I'm really surprised. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. I mean, we got really lucky. Right, I'm going to leave some food behind. this would be a really fun experience if we drink <laughs> we're living the true pirate life here oh that was a big drink Ooh. oh oh we fell yep we're feeling it I just find it would be really funny. I mean, I can't even hit the snake. Oh no! Okay, we got it. I can't even pick up the meat. I'm not moving. We're just that drunk. Whoa. Pick it up, come on. Go forward. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Little piggy. Right, we're back to normal now. We're ready to fight. Ooh. 
we've got to figure out where we're going to fight. Where did I leave my ship? Oh, there they are. But I don't know where I left my ship. I think it's on the other side. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're going to cook. Can we cook the coconut? Oh, you can too. <laughs> I've never had cooked coconut before. Oh, it looks like it, it was burning. Tastes good. Tastes good. Eating a pomegranate. Last pomegranate. Crunch. We have plenty of pomegranates. I think my ship's on the other side. Well, I see the skeletons. We're just going to go. Look how pretty the sky is. Oh, there they are. One more. All right. Who's next? It's scary because it's dark and there's like bushes, so they come running out of the bushes. <laughs> there we go. These ones have swords. Oh no! No! That's a good way to get rid of skeletons. That's the first one we've encountered today with the team feet. see it's so dark there's a pig pig's gonna keep us company nope it ran away Follow the pig. Oh, I feel like I can hear him. Oh no! No! Run! My heart. Oh no, I'm stuck! Go, go, go! Let's go to TNT! So awesome. Oh, thank goodness it's getting lighter. There's one. I'm over here. When they sense you, they kind of like jolt up. I'm ready to slice and dice. 
See the captain. <laughs> we got the captain? Are we done? Oh, that was good. I probably ate. I feel like we deserve to have a little break, sit down, enjoy the peace and quiet while that cooks. Can't really see how it's going. Ready? Oh, my inventory is too full. Put this mango back for now. Uh, I feel like it's cooked. Okay. We need to take that. So we've done Snake Island. Now we can go to Plunder's Outpost on the way to um, Shark Bait Cove. I don't think I've ever been to Shark Bait Cove. No, I don't think I ever have. So we actually get to go to a brand new island. Before me, it's new. Oh, what? I was barely there. Hopefully I get lucky too. We'll see. I understand why it's called Snipe Snake Island. There's just snakes everywhere. We've got another one, and there's that bottle there as well. Oh, not today. Yep, snakes everywhere. <laughs> Take the mangoes. Okay, let's get out of here before we get attacked by snakes. Revenge of the snakes. I mean, we have killed a few of them.
While we're here, we might do some fishing. Like we need to relax a bit. Fishing is definitely relaxing in this game. It's very entertaining, especially when the fish are trying to put up a fight, but you win. So we gotta wait for a fish to bite. There we go. It's like a yellow, yellow one. So you need to be pulling in the opposite direction. It did take me a while to get used to fishing. Oh no! No, I used press the, I press L1 instead of L2. No! So you gotta reel it in using L2. Let's try that again. Let's try on this side. Okay, so let's put some bait. We lost the bait though. We gave the fish a free meal. That's what we did. You can hear the skulls and hissing in the background. Yeah, it took me a while to get it the first couple of times, but eventually we got it. So we just got to tie the fish out. Putting up a good fight. It's back. It's back. Come on, give up. No, you want to give up. And we got it. I think that's it. Yay. We got a ruby splash tail. Let me pick it up. There we go. We got it. Let's cook it. I love these sound effects in this game. They are so awesome. They just make the game a lot more interesting and entertaining. Especially the cooking. Like it's that's exactly what a fish sounds like when it's cooking. So cool. We might have a drink while we wait. can't even watch our fish. We don't even be able to take it off. No, what do we do? Okay, it should be. Yeah, it's cooked. Okay, we got it. We got it just in time. Just in time. All right, where are we going now? Borrowing Orange, thank you so much for the host. Super appreciated. So which did we just recently got this one. So Booty Isle. And that's Booty Isle. Same. So we've got two to go on Booty Isle. But before we go, let's go straight to the outpost. That way we can take these three skeleton heads in. We don't need Cook's Hollow anymore. I 
And then we can go to Shark Bait Cove and Booty Isle. Where there's lots of booty waiting for us. Lots of treasure. Hopefully we can get off the rocks without getting a hole in the ship. We, ma we managed to crash but not do any damage to the ship. To our sloop. Pretty sure we just have to go south. I didn't even check the direction. Yes, yeah, south. Oh, I can see another ship. Because that's the outpost just past the rocks. Another sloop. I have never attacked another ship, another especially a sloop, before. We tried to follow one last time, but uh, it which disappeared. So maybe we'll get the chance to today, just to try something new. See if that pirate life suits us. Ugly Merc, no, I'm not new. I don't play as often, but no, definitely not new to the game. I think this loop's moving. Oh no, it's still there. Very stormy today. Storms everywhere. get to this outpost but yeah how beautiful is the sea like especially the color of the sea it's so beautiful it's beautiful until a meg is chasing you in it or the kraken emerges I was contemplating going there, but it's so close to the rocks. So I know if you were to put your sail all the way up, you don't really have to lower your anchor. I just feel safer when I lower the anchor. So we're going to the Order of Souls. <clears throat> to this lovely madam. Some damage, some damage done. Oh, we're almost at level sixteen. I heard another. 
pirate. Maybe it was my own footsteps. One more. I wonder where this other pirate is. say hello if we wanted to Ooh. what would happen doesn't do anything I don't think you can attack each other while you are on an outpost it's a safe zone but it's smart having that up the top if you ever did have a, a gunpowder barrel on you, it's best to have it up the top there. It does the least amount of damage to your ship if it did blow up. Sink them. Can you, while you're at an outpost though? Should I go say hello? Okay, we didn't, we didn't make that, we tried. They join in. Oh, there's two pirates. That really creeped me out. <laughs> I did not see that one. and then they come back for revenge oh no let's see if I can get that barrel again where's the ladder I did say I want to try you know different types of pirate lives normally I'm the friendly pirate oh that was bad <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run! Hide. <gasps> no! I don't think the players are watching the game at the moment, but that was so funny. That was so funny. I'll let them um, have a nice surprise. That was super good. I 
I would be so heartbroken if I came back to my ship and it was half destroyed. I'd be so upset. Okay, so we need to go to Booty Isle. That's our next destination. Which is just, just south. Straight south. Which we can do. see any sunshine I mean it is night time actually but I feel like south there's no storm over there We're going to go past it. It hasn't, it didn't sink. It didn't sink. happens when you don't pay attention. I know, I know. But I feel like that'd be like funny, they'd come back and realize, wait, what? Maybe lightning struck it, you know, not another player. So we need to go south. From memory, I think Booty Isle is really small. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, I could go back. Just leave it. What if someone did that to my ship? Like I said, I'd be heartbroken. So my goal is to just keep doing our voyages and just keep collecting gold so we can start customizing our ship. So there's no end goal or end game for Sea of Thieves. You're just collecting, you know, gold. You're doing, um, you're building up your reputation so you can eventually get to Pirate Legend, and just, you know, customize your character. Um, you know, get some really cool gear, clothes, boots, tattoos, makeup, anything, hats, gloves. Um, you can put a wooden leg on if you wanted, and then you can cus customize your ship, and you can also buy. Um, items like there's no new items for you to purchase however they just got different variations so they might have a different design it might like be full gold so you just you're working towards you know spoiling yourself pretty much that's what you're doing and yeah building up your reputation so you be can become a pirate legend and you know if you see another ship you can kind of show off your cool ship which you worked really hard for did we make it to booty isle yeah we did And then now with the anniversary update, you do have the tall tales, which are your story-based 
games, or games, not games, your story based um, adventures, uh, voyages that you can do. And there's some really cool cinematic scenes that come with it. Yeah, so you can blow them up instead of sh like you show off and then you blow them up. Ooh, is that a rowboat? Because it is storming over there. Maybe lightning struck the ship, you know? Maybe it was another player. the gun. Ooh, the bushes over there are moving. Oh no! Ooh, gotcha! It's so awesome. There's one with a weapon though. Oh, there it is. Yes! Grena, Grena, thank you so much for following. It is super appreciated. Oh no 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 no! Okay. Oh, that that did a bit of damage. I've got no more ammo. Yes, I can. I feel like it's going to miss, though. Yes. Do you think the skeletons will leave me alone if I offer them a drink? <coughs> Turned around. Oh no. No bananas. Uh oh. Uh oh. Abort. Abort. Oh, they that missed me. Change our weapon. Where'd they go? Oh, I see ya. Why don't they 
you die? <laughs> hey Rob the Mule, how are you going today? Let's change it up. Missing. No bananas. I'm going to run out of food. That completely missed. It's gone. Yay. All right, now we can go fight. So this one, we've got to bring it to the water. So slow. <laughs> See like all the gold like dripping, it's like melting. Yay! Funny, I could take the gold. <laughs> Ooh, hey, all right. Take it easy. They do that evil laugh when they're gonna eat a banana. No banana for you. Finally. Lots of snakes. Oh, there's one with a weapon, with a gun. Same one that we're trying to fight before. We did it. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, here they are. So we've got more gold on What? We're gonna use our cannons. I feel like we could do this. Maybe if I lure them over here, it'll work. Okay, stay there. Don't move. Stay. It's gonna miss. Yeah, I gotta turn it. Hey, Matt Cool Nickel, how are you going today? Welcome. You know, we should be alright. Oh no! <laughs> now we turn too much. What if I harpoon it? Oh, 
too too high. I want to see if I can hop in the skeleton. We're hitting it. <laughs> it's laughing. It's laughing. Oh, we got it. We got one. The others turned around like, no. Yeah. But I always feel like when I don't drop the anchor, my bow is just going to like, sail away. But I guess if you put this in the middle, it won't. Stay there. Just give me, give me two seconds to position myself. We got one. We got two actually. We're gonna fight the rest with our sword. The ones with like the green on them, the leaves, they're really hard to defeat. Uh oh, no you don't. I'm in the water. No. Oh no, where did that one come from? Maybe if I bring him over here. Day. Blowing them up with the cannon boy is actually super fun. the gold one. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you, furry. It makes sense why we couldn't get the other one to die. Oh, we got the gold one. snake. We just needed to start walking back. There we go. Look, the snake's watching the skeleton. Got it. Just walk away. 
walk away. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, no. They're waving. Is that the ship that we sunk before? <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Uh-oh. Oh no! No! This is why I shouldn't have done anything! Oh no, I'm gonna die! That's really unfair. I have no loot on there though. I feel like I could patch it up. Oh, I died. Just died. Well, it was only a matter of time. I mean, I tried to live the life of a bad pirate and that's what happens when you do. It all comes back around. That was actually super funny. They're waving! I thought they wouldn't be friends. No. But I'm pretty sure that's the ship that I, sunk, uh, I attempted to sink, but we didn't sink them. Because they had the same design on the boats. Oh, that was super funny. So even though you die, you can go back to your ship. So hopefully our ship will go to an island near Booty Isle. Just depends. Because it would have definitely would have sank. Luckily I didn't have anything on, on my ship. What? Definitely furry fighter, definitely. So now they're just they're just on my ship, but I have nothing there. There's nothing for them to take. I'm just a lonely pirate. Just want to be friends. Maybe the, the this guy will be my friend. What do you want from me? I know, I know. Maybe I should just hang out here for a while. I should just hang out here for a while. Hey Bulk Wig, how are you going today? Alright, well then let's try our luck. Alright, please leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. I'm just a lonely pirate. She's minding her own business. You're welcome. You're very welcome. All right, let's see how we go. Okay, we've got a new ship. So our ship would have sank. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Nice pretty skies.
We're in barnacle clay. Okay. We still need to go to Booty Isle, which is most likely where there's pirates are. So maybe we'll go to Shark Bait Cove first because we do need to go here. So that's what? Southwest? We've got these two are uh, Booty Isle. Then we've got Shark Bay Cove. I feel like there's more to do on this island. There's definitely skeletons in the green. Very intense. We got a fruit crate. Oh, we've got a crate of plants. Let's read the delivery note. Deliver to Sue at Plunder's Outpost. I mean, we could do that. got some fruit there. Hey fat pony, how are you going today? That's good to hear. I'm great, thank you. Where did I see those fruits here? What is the mission for today? So, um, I'm just trying to do these Order of the Soul missions before I go back to Tall Tail, just so I can kind of build up my reputation. So once I clear these, you can't see them now, but once I clear out the current missions that I have, we can finish up that Tall Tails. skeletons here somewhere. So this one slows the enemy down. And this one sends your foes to sleep. Ooh, we've never used any of those before. I'd love to use one. We might store all our fruit in there for now. And just take all of the ones here. She will take it with us. Probably best. Let's steal all the fruit on this island.
so you can store up to 50 pieces of fruit which is cool so we've been here okay, so we're gonna put this on our ship and we'll go back and get the plant because i feel like we're gonna pass plunder's outpost There's our sloop. About this one. Oh. 22 pieces of fruit. It's pretty good. From one island as well. Just from one island. I haven't seen a pineapple in ages. We're going to definitely fill it up. Oops. Put 10 more pieces of fruit in. I feel like there was some that we missed. Yeah, we'll put it on our ship. Just, oh no, that's okay. Uh, we'll store some of the wood and we'll go back and get that plant and maybe pick up some wood on the way because knowing me I'll need it all. Wait, how many do we have in here? So we emptied, we're just emptying all the barrels. We're taking everything from the island. Oh, we can barely see. I hear all these noises, I'm like, what is that? So we've got the crate of plants. I feel like we could fill this up for sure. Two more pieces of fruit. There was. There's one barrel that we didn't get all the fruit out of. Is it one of these? No, it was over here. This one. There we go. Okay. 
There's all these little sound effects. And I'm just like, what is that noise? There's like bugs. Alright, I think we're ready to go. So it's got 50 fruit, woo! Alright, so where are we going? Do we want to go plunder outpost first? Yeah. So we're going southwest, past Paradise Spring, Crook's Hollow, which is going to be interesting. Hopefully the skeletons don't attack us, but we shall soon find out. that fruit will attract the Meg. Maybe it wants some fruit. So hopefully we get there quickly. Old Crook's Hollow there. Please don't attack me. Every time we pass Crook's Hollow, there's always cannonballs being fired at us. Always. And I'm pretty sure Devil's Ridge as well. Yeah, it is. Devil's Ridge and just Crook's Hollow. What do I think about the game Bulk Week? I think it's it is definitely interesting. It's I you can always have fun with it, you know, it appeals to so many different interests. So whether you like to just sail, if you like calm, relaxing um, sea games, you can get that to an extent. If you like combat, you know, you can go and fight all the different skeletons, or you've got the PvP uh, arena, which and now enables you to just fight. Um, if you like treasure hunting, if you like solving clues or like solving uh, mysteries and doing uh, riddles and stuff, like the game has that as well. So there's a lot the game offers which appeals to different types of interests. So I think that's a really great aspect about the game and that it's, it's not always the same thing. I mean, you could sail a whole day and not encounter the Meg or the Kraken and then the next day you come in and boom, you're being attacked left, right, and center. So it, it, it's good that there's different uh, experiences in the game. So just the same thing. So I really enjoy it. I do love CFAs. I always have a good time every time I play, even if I don't get any um, any gold because I, my ship keeps sinking every time I have treasure on it. It's still a good experience. It's still a good experience. The game is available at your local retailer, so you guys should check it out if you haven't already. If you are watching from Mixer, we've got links in our description, uh, which is ready for you guys to look at. So they're our favorite retailers where the game is available. And don't forget, if you are watching from a retailer's website or from Facebook, you guys are more than welcome to interact with us here in the studio. And if you are new to our uh, channel on Mixer, make sure you guys do follow as it's good to keep up with us. We've got some great content for you guys coming up in the next few weeks. Super excited about our schedule, which is there as well that you guys can look at. Doing pretty good. We're passing Cutlass Clay. And now we need to be going west. I never really use them, so I'm just gonna leave them. Leave it there. I 
I haven't been playing Sea of Thieves for long. Oh, there's heaps of barrels over there. Um, just, oh no, better hit the rock. No, oh actually no, we'll miss it. So just before the anniversary update came out, and then after it obviously. But uh, I've heard so many good things about the game, especially as each update have come out and offered new things about the game. Like I only found out recently that the skeletons, our friendly skeletons, our favorite friends, they were introduced to the game in the second update. And the Meg wasn't there at launch as well. But yeah, it's always good. They have, always have free updates for everyone. And it brings a lot of new content to the game, which is much, it is definitely needed. But it's great. Like, if you want to play with friends, you know, you get the galleon and uh, you guys sail the seas, dominate the seas. Or you can play by yourself. So it's good that it offers you a... A, an adventure game where you can play by yourself or you can play with friends and it, it'd be really cool to see you know, um, different people managing different parts of the ship as well so with the sloop you only really need one person to manage it or you could have two you could have one you know doing the sail length and then um, one person you know managing this the the wheel or you can just sail by yourself which is really cool but with the galleon you do need lots of you need four people the water detail i love it it's so realistic i have never played a game with such great water detail before i played a few games where you get to sail but this one is definitely amongst the top of them for sure and i like how it's not always the same weather conditions you might have really smooth waves or you might just have abusive waves that are just making it hard to sail in so it's always different and the colors are beautiful i love blue and it's great how you can see the reflection of the sun or the shade as well so it's good they've done they put a lot of detail into it and the graphics are crazy so crazy We're back to Plunder's Outpost where we half destroyed a ship and then came back for revenge. How funny is that? It's pretty funny because you wouldn't think like it's such a big map. So you know, coming across someone more than once in a game, I find is quite rare unless they actually follow you. if we can Maybe this one all right so we've got this we're taking to sue on plunder's outpost Sue. Are you Sue? Yes, you are Sue. What does she want with the plant? Yay! 700 gold. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Are you up to this? Think twice before returning. Do 
Geronimo! So we've got our disgraced bounty skull. I like seeing all the fish, they're all like different colours as well, which is nice. Forgive the skull. Madam Olivia. No worries, both wig. Should we buy something to customize our ship? Let's do it. Let's spend our gold, our hard earned gold. Pirate and problems? I'm listening. <laughs> Sue's very nice. So what have we got? So very expensive. We've only got 28,000 that we can spend. So should we do, should we put a flag? So putting these flags will help um, send a message to other players, like what your intentions are of the game. Wow, we need to really, we need to keep spending. I mean, sorry, keep earning. Maybe we should get a flag. Kraken flag. Ocean crawler flag. Parrot flag. We came here to party. I like that flag. But I also like this one. I'm gonna buy the parrot flag. We're here to party. We're here to have some fun. Yeah, definitely can't spend anything. We don't have enough. Or oh, we could buy a yellow sailor. A yellow sail, sorry. But we've got a blue one. Okay, sure, well, my Jesse is always old. That was a little <gasps> My fruit! It's the same ship. It's the same ship. No! We're being hunted. We are being hunted. I'm just about to put my pirate flag up the top. Let's just get. See, that's why it's kind of it's good having more than one player on with you, because then you you know you can someone can steer and then the other person can fire cannons, just like they're doing. I just want to be left alone. We sold, we, we, we sold our fruit. It's all good. We sold the fruit. It's okay. We, I think we got like 900 coins possibly. But we're back. We're dead now. We are, we're back here. It's the two pirates. They keep hunting us. They keep hunting. All right. Well, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to go on a break. So in the meantime, make sure you guys check out your, your favorite retailers as Sea of Thieves is available and it's also available on game pass if you guys want to check that out again we've got awesome links for you guys in our description which makes uh, scrolling and looking for it so much easier so i'm gonna step away for a break they're still hunting me furry i know hopefully in this duration of my break they kind of forget about me but uh, we will see i'll see you guys soon like i said don't go anywhere we'll be back very shortly